Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Kissimmee, Florida getting ready to take you guys along with us to Boston Lobster Feast. Boston Lobster Feast. Woo! That is a very cool looking car, isn't it boys? Yes. And it has black how eyes. See? That's it sure does. My question is how do you see a driving that Lots of obstructions, that's for sure. Here is a look at the dining room. It is a large dining room. There's lots of seating over here, and you can kind of just see there's several different areas and back corners and nooks where you can dine in here. Lots of room. They just opened, so that's why there's no one in here quite yet. All right, so let's go take a look at the buffet. Of course, right here you have unlimited crab legs, unlimited lobster. Here's a Cajun boil. And here's some of that drawn butter. Over here, they have green beans, barbecue pulled pork, mashed potatoes and gravy, and here's some au jus sauce for the prime rib. Back here is some horseradish sauce, cornbread casserole, and here are some rolls. Here are some spring rolls, fried calamari, clam strips, fried shrimp, fried fish, chicken tenders, mac and cheese, barbecue ribs, and white rice. Some shrimp and scallop scampi, yellow rice. There's some corn. Right there's some lobster mac and cheese, sausage and peppers. They even have pasta and spaghetti with meatballs. Right here is some jambalaya. Here are some carrots, mahi-mahi. There's broccoli, teriyaki tuna. Thai wings and crawfish. Here are some steamed mussels, steamers, and seafood casserole. And here we have some crab cakes, salmon, garlic, crab clusters, and blue crab. Back here for the soups we have lobster bisque and clam chowder. Right here is some gravlock salmon and over here is house smoked salmon. And here's some crawfish. Caesar salad, clams, here is a sushi selection. Wasabi sauce, octopus salad, crab salad, pickled ginger, tomato cucumber salad, and coleslaw. Of course we have tartar sauce, shrimp salad, lemons, cocktail sauce, and fruit salad. Here are some peel and eat shrimp. Back here for dessert they have some flan. Here is some key lime pie. Man, I can smell how wonderful these are. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Down here are some brownies. Looks like some peanut butter fudge. Over here, it kind of looks like derby pie, but it's not labeled. And down here, I don't know what this is either, but it looks really good. And the buffet for kids is $25.95. However, there are a la carte options. The boys said that they didn't think that they would eat their money's worth today. So they opted for something from the kids menu today. Can I get a lobster, please? Thank you, sir. Okay, so for on Okay, so for the first run here, we got oysters Rockefeller. Back here we've got some shrimp scampi. There's some crab legs. A little seafood bake and right here is a crab cake got some broccoli in there just to have a little bit of vegetable but very excited to see what this is about I'm gonna take off the arm both of the arms I'm gonna start by twisting the head and the tail in the opposite direction and then um, instead of using a knife down the middle I'm gonna snap the back of this tail off just like this I'm gonna take one of these oyster forks right here Put it in that tail end where I just snapped off the back of the tail. And we're gonna push it through the shell and it'll come right out just like that. Alright. And then if you want to clean it on this piece of skin right here, you can go ahead and lift up, peel, and do that. And that's it for that. For this claw right here, we're gonna take out the thumb first. Sometimes it can be a little tougher to get out. We're gonna take the cracker, cracker across the top, and we can just break the rest of it off. That looks good. 
Thank you, Emilio. We appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, what did you end up getting there? So I got a lobster and then also some crab legs. And these look really nice. Snow crab I love legs. Crab legs. And then I also got a few of the other little things that they had on there. There's some tuna, some seared tuna. I've never had seared tuna before, so I figured I'd try that out. And then mahi-mahi, which I know I love that. And then this is some lobster mac and cheese. And then I think this is like a cheese danish spring roll, clam strip, calamari. This is a southwest mussel, seafood casserole. And then this is a type of steamed mussel, and then this is a different type of steamed mussel. It looks like the boys already have their food. What'd you get, Gentry? I got the fried shrimp with mashed potatoes. Man, that is a heaping load of mashed potatoes there. And Henry, what did you get, huh? Um, I got meatballs. All right, and we've got these awesome bibs. And the, I wasn't going to wear a bib, but guys, the boys convinced me. I'm wearing a bib as well. Here it is. There's a little bit of that lobster claw on the drawn butter. Look inside of this crab cake here. Sometimes you go to restaurants and crab cakes are just okay. This is a phenomenal crab cake. Uh, the flavor is perfect. I know there's no for seafood, but there's lots of crab in here. And there's celery, there's some green peppers. Fantastic. Jennifer went ahead and went for her lobster here. She's doing a great job with it. Already broke off the tail there. She's trying to get the fork in to push the meat out. Oops. I think I'm doing it the wrong way. There we go. Woohoo! There we go. Look at that. Nice. Very good. <laughs> and I went up and got lobster number two. And I already know that I really enjoy these mussels. They're Southwest mussels, so they are a little spicy. And then I got some snow crab. And then on top of that, I got some blue crab. That seafood casserole is really delicious. I'm going to kind of move it around here. There's peas, celery, lots of crab, little cheese, some corn, carrots. Got some coleslaw. And then over here, the shrimp and mussel scampi was really good. Some of the best shrimp and mussel scampi I've ever had. And back here we have some clam chowder. The best clam chowder I've ever had was up in Maine. And I'm always comparing that clam chowder to other clam chowders. And I've never had a clam chowder that quite compares, but we're gonna try this today and I'll let you know what I think about it. And there is the end product of Jennifer's Deveining. So I just snapped this in two. Let's see if it works. Ooh, now let's see if this side works. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna try some of that clam chowder. Big old pieces of clam in here. Sweet potatoes. Take a bite. Okay, so this clam chowder is very delicious, first of all. Very warm, very clammy, but also very potato y. It's interesting because most clam chowders I've had in my life have other ingredients, a little bit of celery or some other various ingredients sometimes added, but this doesn't eat it. It's very good by itself. Is it the best I've ever had? Um, no, but it is probably within the top three of best clam chowders I've had. It's excellent. So Brent is going to dig into this big hoss here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tear up the legs first, as advised. Tear that one off. So that goes there. Then I'm gonna take this, if I remember correctly, he said twist it, just like so. All right. And then I think you start like on the little second area here. You put your thumb on the second area, pull up like so. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's why we're wearing the bibs, guys. That's exactly why we're wearing the bibs. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, it's wonderful, thank you. So, my hands are already dirty, so I'm just gonna use my finger, push it through. Oh, that there it is. Way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trained very well. 
right there is the end result of getting the claw out. You got the whole thing. Hi, right, Jennifer. This is plate number two. In my very last plate. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you end up getting there? Um, I got a seafood chowder, and you can see there's all kinds of like fish and shrimp and then potatoes and corn and herbs in there. Looks delicious. Got some crackers to have with that. And then Brent was talking about these crab cakes being so good, so I had to try me one of those. And then I got some cold uh, peel and eat shrimp that looked seasoned really well. And then I love baked salmon, and so I tried a little bit of that too. And of course, you gotta get a lobster. Lobster number two. All right, Jennifer is getting ready to crack open her crab cake there. I really enjoyed these. Probably one of the top five things that I've had here was the crab cake. It's very aromatic. There's a lot of seasoning you can tell in there and everything. A lot of stuffing and crab. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to throw in the towel, but not until we have a sampling of some desserts. Back here we got some flan. Right here is carrot cake. Of course in Florida, we gotta have our key lime pie. We have some this is seasonal, it just said seasonal dessert. I'm willing to bet that's probably something pumpkin spice. I'm not sure, but we'll find out here in a second. And here's the Baker's Special, which are churros. Of course, we're close to Disney World, right up the road from Disney World. And the boys don't know it yet, but we're gonna get them a couple of these mini brownies for their dessert here. So if you're wondering what this is, it is like a pumpkin spice cheesecake. I'm not a pumpkin spice guy. Um, so I'm not a fan of this, but I think if you're a pumpkin spice person, this could be for you. Out of all the desserts that I've tried, it sampled the best one by far was a key lime pie. It was excellent. Guys, we are stuffed. We are throwing in the claw. One last lone claw remains. Jennifer, you got something different there. What did you get? I got a pecan pie square, and then Brent said that this key lime pie is excellent, so I just got two squares of that. <laughs> So I just tried both of these and they're both really good. I have to say the pecan square is really, really excellent. I like it where there's more nuts than uh, the gooey stuff in there. And this one really meets that criteria there. I like when they're just, you know, kind of brown on top and candy just a little bit, not too sweet. All right guys, final bill for two kids meals with drinks, two adult feast and two adult drinks. After tax and before tip, 170 69 That was the world famous Boston Lobster Feast. Jennifer, what do you think about the Boston Lobster Feast? Totally recommend. So good. Everyone's so friendly here. Uh, sweet tea alert. The sweet tea is really good here. Uh, the boys and I both had that and it was really excellent. And great service. Thank you all so much for being so friendly to us. We really do appreciate your service. And everything was delicious uh, but my top three would have to be the lobster the crab legs and the seafood chowder um, all of those were really really good um, I, I tried a bite of several other things uh, didn't eat everything on my plate so don't worry <laughs> I did not eat all of that I just tried to get, get little bites of everything and uh, those were my top three all right and gentry what do you think bud one thing, <laughs> one thing that I really love is the decorations and there's a crab on the ceiling. I didn't know if you would see that, but it was really cool. And I just gotta say, if you're really a seafood person, this is the exact place that you have to come to. All right. What do you think about the Boston Lobster Feast? It was good. And did you like your spaghetti? Uh, yeah. It has that meatballs in there. It's really kind of. It's really kind of good. And since we had shrimp, I like it. And it's kind of wet on the shrimp. You tried yeah. some of his shrimp and, and you tried a brownie too. How was the brownie? It was good. And I also tried those brown things. All right. And it had brown on them and they had white and some more white. <laughs> and also, they didn't have macaroni. So instead, I get mashed potatoes and meatballs, and I also got noodles and sauce. So we have actually eaten here before, but not at this location. This location has only been here a couple of years. We did eat at the location that's up the road, 
probably about nine, ten years ago. And so when we were at that location, it was okay. But we were really impressed with the meal here today. When you look at the price, $65, I kind of put that into comparison to, it is expensive, first of all. I have to say, yes, it is expensive. Uh, but when you're on vacation looking for some seafood, we had lobster rolls a few weeks ago, and they're $32 a piece for lobster rolls. Seafood is just expensive. It's always been expensive, but it's especially expensive today. And I ate, well, I, I, of course, I didn't eat the entire lobster, but I ate three lobster tails and lobster claws. I mean, that alone, if you go to any other restaurant, is going to be extraordinarily expensive. And so I feel that we got our money's worth. Yes, it's expensive, but we ate a lot of seafood. We didn't eat anything all day. So we came here. They open at 2 o'clock. It's a Sunday. We're stuffed. We're full. It was delicious. Guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Kissimmee, Florida at the Boston Lobster Feast. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every day is Saturday. Another really fun experience here was wearing the lobster bibs. Uh, we really loved embarrassing our children when we walked up to the buffet, didn't we, Bruin? We sure did. <laughs> they were like, Are you the buffet? And I said, yes. But he encouraged me to wear it, so I'm going to blame it on Henry. <laughs> Henry, was it, was it all you? <laughs> yes? It was all you. Another really fun thing was learning how to get inside the lobster, you know, cracking those open and everything, and they show you here. So if you have never done it before, it's been a while, and you want to kind of know, they will show you how to do it and, and actually live do one for you. And uh, same on the, the crab, it was just a really fun experience. And right next door from the Boston Seafood Feast, right over here, is a Disney gift outlet. Now there are several gift outlets here on Earlo Bronson Parkway, which is right where we're at. As you can see right over here, there's a really cool one with a giraffe, a little flamingo, looks like a zebra, maybe a gator as well. But they're all up and down this parkway here. But we're gonna check this one out since we're already here. And it's right next door. Some really cool piggy banks here. Yeah, Batman. You got Batman on your shirt. How cool is that? And another Batman. And another Batman. And there's quite a few. Another Batman. Winnie the Pooh. We got a stormtrooper here. Harry Potter. These are running for 25 bucks. Not bad. Right here are some boats. And these are running for $8.99 a piece. Looks like they're made out of just sticks and a little net, but it is pretty neat. I like the. I hear these little sailboats here running for $6.99 a piece. Right here is a Disney 2023 shirt for $15.99. So these are some pretty impressive prices. Very inexpensive for a gift shop. I like this one. This one's running for $16.99 as well. It's pretty cool with the moon, the earth, and the sun. Right here we have the Minions. And that one is running for $15.99. What'd you find there, Jennifer? These are only $5.99 and they're Disney. Pretty good deal. Huh? What'd you find, Henry? Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> and that is running for $15.99 for a Star Wars shirt. Henry, I think I found your shirt right here. Is that a shirt made especially for you? One. It says Trouble One. <laughs> Jennifer found her hat for the next time we go to Disney there. And you found yours for Universal and yours too? Yeah. Alright. Which bite is?